back everyone to the Giants Holiday Let's Play special with me, Looney Farm Guy, and episode number three. Now, we're here on, uh, let me see if I can pronounce this, Ostikurtsi, uh by Tanker LS on our little farm here we've started. And, well, the English language is full of quirky, mm, quirkiness, shall we say? And uh, the word orange is no exception. Now, uh, as you may know, orange is a color. There's also a fruit, which is of the same color. And uh, a quirk of the English language is there is nothing that rhymes with the word orange. So in that uh, running in that theme rhymes with orange. Um, trying to stay along that theme obviously with the uh, kind of the theme of this whole series uh, if you recall last episode we had a uh, plow um, and that was this one the the Rastnor H7 which seemed like a good idea at the time however I probably should have watched rewatched my own video because it was uh, it was awful. It, it, did, it was plowing only pa very patchyness, and well, it just didn't work. And so I ended up going over to my second choice, which is a much better working, uh, well, for a plow anyways, and actually is more like the color orange than the others, than the other one. And that's a case of 55 chisel plow, and it's cheaper. And uh, I do believe it was uh, at 5.2 meters, yes, even wider. Uh, so that's what I used to finish up this field here, plowing that needed plowing. And if we take a quick look over at our PDA here and needs plowing, we have successfully at least mostly cleaned up this field to uh, at least to my satisfaction now. Um, <clears throat> as you know, not everything I have is Kubota, although for the most part, I'm trying to stay with Kubota equipment, but Kubota doesn't make trailers and such. So in the, mm, in the, along the line of rhyming with orange, I'm trying to, um, any other equipment that, um, that is not Kubota or orange. Um, I'm trying to get that is either red or I can change to orange in a color c uh, configuration anyways. So that's kind of, well, my <laughs> my way of staying with the theme. Now, again, if we look at our PDA into our uh, precision farming and we go over to our pH, we have limed these three fields and we're about to uh, well we're about to run out of light it's uh, it's six o'clock in the evening here however we do have our cultivator hooked up and ready to go we do not need to uh, cultivate the plowed field obviously because um, it's been plowed and I I don't want to call it no need to cultivate over it it's just kind of redundant however Oh, yes, our cedar is uh, not a direct drill. So, uh, these planted areas need to be cultivated. And, which is what I'm going to attempt to do here, we have the Kubota cultivator. And, yes, so, uh, it might take a little while. And I think we're cultivating here. Yes, we are. Let's just adjust. I'm doing a little bit of a cheaty, uh, cheaty fast farming a little bit here, but um, uh, I have a very small cultivator, and these, uh, even though these fields are fairly small, um, it's gonna take a minute, and. What we're going to do, or what, well, what I'm going to do, and hopefully what you're going to do is watch me. Uh, well, I'm going to just edge out this this field, excuse me, and um, see how long the light lasts. 
and maybe whilst we're doing this we might start the cedar on the plowed field and as I said before I'm going with soybean because soybean does not require fertilizer in precision farming and um, that'll save me a little bit of cash and a little bit of um, at least um, a process since I don't think my cedar has a fertilizer option I can't remember now <laughs> so I'm going to see if the worker is going to uh, whoop these field uh, edges are quite um, well just not friendly uh, where is this guy gonna go oh he's going to go orient himself that way uh, can we get him to go this way oh that's a little bit too low there why is that there we go Okay, he's going that way. Well, that will that will have to do. All right, so let's back this guy up and see what we got for a cedar. It is definitely not the largest cedar, and we got to figure out what we're gonna do for buying seed. I don't want to go buy bags and stuff. It's a little bit. I know it's how farmers do it, but let's see what we got for containers. I do believe I still have the field. Yes, there we go. Uh, well, the free one is a little bit too cheaty for this uh, particular Let's Play. <laughs> field work fill station, $15,000. Well, we could always go with the multi fruit, but everybody does that and we always do we always do that mobile buying station now that's a curious little one for me and it's a portable one by uh, for that matter um, although well you know what it's it's been a while since I've used it and what the heck it's orange how can you beat that right so let's buy that and uh, Uh, we can it's 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 like I say it's a portable buying it's a buy point it's a buy point let's get our <laughs> help window on there we go so we can refill it with uh, seeds now we don't want 10,000 we want to maybe about 500 liters yes so uh, we could also fill it with a bunch of other stuff so we have 500 liters of seed in here let's uh, refill our planter uh, open there we go there 500 oh I'm gonna need a little bit more seed <laughs> uh, let's see here no not 10,000 uh, it's a handy dandy little um, yes okay it's a, a very handy dandy little uh, nod by Yost there we go we have refilled and, and uh, very kind of neat and I had something I used a little bit when it first came out but not much so this is also kind of one of those um, let's play where we're gonna try and a few different things rather than the stuff that I usually always usually use to try and mix things up a little bit as well so let's go with where is it soybean there we go soybean and let's get some lights on I hate it when it's always so dark let's turn that on away we go planting soybeans with the teeny tiny cedar at nine miles per hour You might have to look at something I don't well Kubota doesn't make a uh, a larger cedar so we might have to investigate other options at some point um, 
because I am not I'm not one of those players that uh, really relish and enjoy the teeny tiny equipment uh, unlike my uh, my good friend there Mr. Brian Bro who is a fellow content creator and loves the teeny tiny equipment oh he does <laughs> He's he. I, I would imagine he he has all these little miniature type whatever projects, uh, builds miniature miniature, uh, uh, sailboats in a miniature bottle or something like that. He just strikes me as somebody who likes, uh, likes the miniature stuff. The micro, the micro master. <laughs> And if I remember, uh, we did a little bit of a, uh, uh, I, I, I interviewed him uh, back in Farm Sim 19 and his favorite uh, tractor was the Ferguson, which is a teeny tiny tractor with a whole bunch of little teeny tiny attachments. And he had much fun with it. So anyways, we're going to uh, finish edging out this and um, haven't added any um, extra equipment other than that plow that you've seen. And, um, yeah, at least none yet, but you never know uh, what I might drag out of the old store for equipment. As long as I can uh, turn it orange, uh, it's it's going to be a option for sure. So, uh, even though nothing rhymes with orange, we're going to turn it orange and make it orange. So, uh um, the, the only thing, really the only thing that we have for as, as far as equipment goes is that um, the harvester and it's yellow, which is kind of mm, orange-ish, I guess. A very pale orange, perhaps. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, what, what that, uh, how that goes. I might find a harvester that's, uh, although I really like it because it's such tight turning and it's very maneuverable. But, um, anyhow, oh, we got rocks. That's right, I put rocks on. Uh, let's see here. Let's get a worker on this one. If we can go this way. And there. I think that should take care of that for a little bit. I think. Yeah. Right. So, uh, do, do, do we still got a, our four bales of straw that we've got there. This guy's doing, oh, he's kind of not quite. I didn't quite give him enough. of an edge around the uh, he's kind of missing and it's dark I'm gonna be where I hate working in the dark really <laughs> and uh, there we go I don't know at some point we're gonna have to look at some bigger tractors this is the biggest tractor I do believe available from Kubota which is actually you know what it's probably as big as I could probably fit down the roads anyways so it might be it might be what we have to we have to stick with i don't know to be quite honest i really don't have a plan i'm just kind of making it up as i go along and there we go set the worker off again right so this is what i'm going to be doing for the next little while so i'm not going to bore you with uh this entire field we'll catch up with you uh, once uh once we're done here, and we also actually have the other field to um, cultivate as well. So, is he... Wow, he just kind of went right over the edge on that one. Uh, let's give him a little bit more. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, dear. Let's give him a little bit more a space to work with here, perhaps. Yes. All right. Um, fine. 
<laughs> I think I think he's good now. Uh, who knows what I'll come up with by the time you get back, but uh, we'll see you when that happens. Well, it's getting pretty late out here. The moon is up already. Uh, it's 19.30 or uh, 7.30 in the evening. It's pretty dark for August. It's only 7.30. But anyways, that's the way it is here on uh, the Baltics, I guess. Um, we're just finishing up uh, cultivating this field. Uh, we... Um, <clears throat> so what did we do? What have we done on this day before we go back to sleep? Uh, if we take a look, um, I actually had the plow plowing while the cultivator was cultivating. So we've got 14 cultivated, 9 plowed and cultivated. It's ready to seed. I didn't start seeding because I couldn't see where anything. So we seeded 50. So tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're going to... Um, continue seeding these two fields and we're gonna see how that goes however as you can see it's quite dark out here there aren't any lights uh, street lights or anything out in the country so uh, we're gonna head back to the farmyard well I should probably put up some light oh, look it looks like there is some lights out there we'll see if there's any lights at the farmyard Pretty dark. The moon is not giving us much light. It's full moon, but uh, I, it does not look like there's much light out here for a full moon. And we are coming up to our... Oh, here's our yard. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're going to need to put up some lights if we're going to be doing any more of this. But anyways, uh, the tractor is lighting up the yard pretty nice. Well, that's a bit of a shorter episode, I suppose. But anyways, that ends the day. Let's go. Uh... Oh, I did did make another purchase. Where is it? Oh, I can't see it. Um, yeah, here's our here's our other tractor. <clears throat> Maybe as we uh, where are we? Uh, we want to go this way. Yes. So this little fella pulling this plow did okay. Probably could have used a little bit more horsepower, but I say he made out all right, so it wasn't too bad. <clears throat> and somewhere along here, we're taking a right turn. Try not to hit the lump too hard. There we go. Bit of a more of a down lump here cross over the field and then we'll take a look at our uh, we bought a planter we bought a K Kubota planter because it was fairly cheap and uh, it still planted it still plants soya beans so uh, it's over here I dropped them off here ready to well, we're gonna come up upon it here right away there we go so we still got the cedar which doing which is doing okay but the planter is quite a bit wider and as I said, it also does soybean, so that's pretty nice. It only takes 70 horsepower, so very easy to pull. As you can see, we've uh, we've finished seeding this uh, field here uh, with soybeans, and we'll continue doing that on the next day. There we go. So that's all we have done. Let's put this back over here. And uh, we will we'll continue seeding in the morning, but for as much as that is, let's see, get our light on here. There we go. It's time to go to bed, have a little dinner. Uh, looks like there could be something cooking in the kitchen. And um, that's it for episode three. <clears throat> um rhymes with orange thank you all for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so good night to all and we'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>